So originally I had a different video plan today that I was going to put out. I was going to finish up some testing for it and put it out. But of course, there had to be an NVIDIA driver update the day of that the Zone Warfare devs specifically mentioned. Of course, why would I have anything go right? Regardless of that fact, I decided, you know what? Let's go see what everybody's saying about this. And I'm seeing some people saying they're getting an extra 10 to 15 FPS. Some people are saying there's no difference. And I want to try to explain to the best of my ability what I think is going down with this, just so that everybody is in the clear on what's going on. And just as an FYI, really quick, since as you can see by the timestamp on this video, it's a little bit late already. Uh, do support the video, hit the like and the sub if you guys enjoy this type of content. This is sort of just off the cuff. I didn't really do too much planning for this video because of the time frame. So yeah, if you enjoy this stuff, make sure to support. Join the Discord link below if you need some help with your FPS and Greyzone Warfare or any other title. I stream Friday, 6.30 p.m. CST and Sunday, 1.30 p.m. CST. Hop into either of those streams, ask me any questions live, and let me stop plugging and start talking about this. So it says on this post here by Jeebus, thank you Jeebus, that they got a 10 to 15 FPS boost with the latest NVIDIA driver. And there was a bit of discussion in the comments about, or I should say in the thread, about this, uh, this update. I went ahead and looked at the official page for the NVIDIA driver update and as far as I could tell, they were just fixing some bugs with Ghost of Tsushima. However, if I looked at the official article for this patch and scroll down to the bottom as I did right here, they are adding optimal settings for Greyzone Warfare, as was mentioned inside the top of this Reddit, Reddit post right here. It's this optimized setting feature that I think is partially the reason why some people are seeing increased performance. They might have been running at all epic settings, NVIDIA GeForce Experience does what it just absolutely loves and force, forces whatever settings it finds accurate on there. And then voila, some increased performance because we were running some settings incredibly high that didn't need to be, and they were hogging a bit of performance from the game. It seems like it's as simple as that. As far as I could tell in the very limited amount of testing that I did, there was very, very little performance difference. If a slight reduction for me, by updating to this driver, so I don't think there was any life-changing boost, magical boost, if you will, to performance in this driver update. Since I know that a lot of people are going to want to try out this update just to see if it gives them any sort of performance increase, I want you to know that it's going to reset your shader cache. And if you don't know what that means, it's essentially saving some data that it needs on your drive and that data that temporary data for the shaders in the game gets wiped. So it has to recompile that data and then store it again when you first boot up the game. That's where those initial stutters that sort of faded off as you we were playing come from. Something that I would recommend to help ensure that you have plenty of room on your drive for those shaders, since we're on the topic of driver updating anyway, is to go ahead and go to your NVIDIA control panel. And in here, you're gonna to wanna to go to global settings and scroll down till you find the shader cache size. This shader cache size right here, as you can see in the description, controls the maximum amount of disk space that the driver can use for storing those compiled shaders. So those stutters are from those shaders compiling, they're stored on your drive. And to increase the amount of size available on your drive for those shaders to reduce the amount of times you're going to have to fuel those stutters if the shader cache for some reason gets filled and needs to clear some stuff out is by increasing this size. I've been seeing around that 10 gigabytes is what most people are recommending. For me, because of the insane amount of storage that I currently have on my main drive, I have set this to unlimited because I don't need to worry about running out of space anytime soon. If you'd like to be conservative about it though, feel free to set it lower to 10 gigabytes and then see how it feels from there. Again, it's going to require you to load in things for the first time when you update the driver. So you are going to feel those first time stutters for a little bit. You're gonna have to fly around, play the game first for at least a little while in order to actually gauge if that driver update helps your performance or not. Because obviously if you benchmark one thing while shaders are fully compiled and another thing while shaders are actively compiling, your results are going to obviously be skewed in the negative towards the ladder of the two options there. But yeah, that's all I got for now with this driver update. I just wanted to make a quick update so you all understood what was going on. Uh, as far as I know, I think this is just coincidence from game ready drivers doing their thing and optimizing settings automatically. And also the fact that, as you can see down here, if I scroll, some people are <laughs> turning off the NVIDIA GeForce experience overlay 
And I have a feeling there's more people who are not mentioning it and just mentioning that they got a boost. So there's a little thing if you stuck towards the end of the video. Sorry, this is sort of a low effort video. I'll put some more effort into the next one. I swear it's just I was not planning to have to make this at such short notice, but we're good. We're locked in. I'll see you all tomorrow for the stream on Friday. I probably will be playing some gray zone. We'll see. I'll let you know we're playing and see you Friday and Sunday. Friday's at 6.30 p.m. CST. Monday's at 1.30 p.m. CST. Like, sub, Discord, whatever the hell. And thank you so much for watching the video about the gray zone optimized settings. Uh, the support was crazy. Uh, and it, it means the world, guys. But yeah, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. This will be Clem. Clocking out. Later.